the, uh, the grinding industry has really been changing over the last 10 years. People are becoming uh, much more aware of different segments of the process overall that have to be looked at uh, in a very competitive marketplace. And going back maybe 10 years ago when people would come to an exhibition like uh, IMTS or EMO uh, over in Europe or Jim Toff over in Japan, they would focus on um, machine tool technology or grinding wheel technology and they would just they would just stop there thinking if they made the investment in those two aspects that um, they would really be operating in an optimum fashion and what they came to realize is um, that that improves your situation but it really doesn't get you all the way where you want to go you have to look at all the pieces of the puzzle and those puzzle puzzle pieces include not only the machine and the grinding wheel but the proper choice of the oil proper level of filtration and also temperature control of the liquid okay you have to have all of those to be able to go and machine at an optimum level and take maximum advantage of the capability of the machine if not then in many cases you can be operating a machine like um, uh, it's operating with one arm tied behind its back. Okay. It'd be as if you bought a, a brand new Ferrari and um, the salesman talked to you about the tires being important. The tires were $500 and each. Okay, And you had already spent so much on the car, you said, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go and use the cars from my the tires from my Chevy. Okay, And then you take it out on the ro open road and you want to really go and pour the coals to it and go 200 miles an hour and you can only go 120 miles an hour before you start shimming. And you bring it back to the dealership and say there's something wrong with the car. And he checks the car out and he says, it's not the car, it's the tires. You can't get maximum capability out of the Ferrari unless you have the tires, an important piece of the puzzle. So from a grinding perspective, okay, you want to go and have the latest in technology in terms of the machine tool and grinding wheel. You want to go and have a, a proper low viscosity oil to aid in flushing. You want it to be filtered to a fine level consistently, predictably. And you also want to go and have temperature control, okay, so that once more you're machining in a very consistent environment. When you have all the pieces of the puzzle together, then you can see the picture clearly, okay. And that picture is green. I can promise you that. So if you like the color green, and you'd like to go and learn more about how Transar can work with you to make your company green, not only environmentally, but also from a profitability point of view, give us a phone call. We're happy to go and work with you.